Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell and join the family. So guys, I've done some research as it relates to that clip that I had shared with you guys in that video as it relates to Jason Lee saying that Kris Jenner called him and threatened him after she learned that um, he had a copy of a unreleased sex tape of Kim and Ray J. Now, we know that sometimes we hear someone says something, we cannot take that as face value. So I went and I did a little research and what I'm discovering is that it may seem as though Chris Jenner has already started the legal process to take legal actions against Jason Lee. So I discovered that Chris Jenner on behalf of Kim has filed a lawsuit against Jason Lee, a former friend and associate of Ray J over the alleged existence of a unreleased sex tape featuring Kim and Ray J. According to reports, Chris Jenner's legal team filed a complaint against Jason Lee, claiming that he has been trying to sell or distribute additional footage of Kim Kardashian, which she believes would cause um, emotional distress and damage to her reputation. The lawsuit alleges that Jason Lee has been shopping around the footage, claiming it shows Kim Kardashian engaging in sexual activity with Ray J and that he has been demanding money in exchange for not releasing the footage. Chris Jenner's legal team is seeking an injunction to prevent Jason Lee from releasing or sharing any intimate contents featuring Kim Kardashian as well as damages for any harm caused by his action. No, <laughs> We know the entire story and it goes to show that no end of that report that I found, right? No, we know the entire story. And what this is proving also is that Ye is, wasn't lying. Not is not. He was not telling a lie. If you guys remember just before Kim and Ye's divorce, um, was finalized, we saw Ye handing Kim, you know, a suitcase that he claimed that he retrieved the tapes from Ray J. And many people on the internet were saying that Ye is telling a lie, there's no more tapes and all of that. And Ye told us that he had no need to lie because there were more tapes and chances are there are still more tapes out there. And here it is proving that there are because if you've seen that clip, go check, go ahead, go ahead and check that initial video. If you've seen that clip, right? We hear Jason Lee saying that Chris Jenner called him, threatening him regarding the tape. And this report here is suggesting that Jason Lee has intentions to distribute a tape. He has been shopping around allegedly because we have to see allegedly because there's no, you know, supporting evidence in this case. Why would Jason Lee want to distribute something like that? Talking about it, isn't that given shady? Or is it that Jason Lee is trying to beat Kim and Chris to their games? And also, would he have any right to Kim, Chris, and Ray J's intellectual property? Like, did he pay someone like Ansem Lee for a copy of the tape? I mean, it's Hollywood and everyone is trying to beat the hustle. And like Jason Lee is, he's messy. He's a hot mess at times. Let's keep it real. He's a hot mess at times. And that's the reason why I went ahead and I dig deep because I wanted to know if he was even telling a lie because we know sometimes, you know, Jason Lee is Jason Lee. If you know Jason Lee, right? Let's keep it real. But what I'm saying is that I went ahead and I did this research because I'm like, you know what? I want to know for myself. And I'm seeing information on it. So I'm like, hey, Jason Lee, what the heck are you up to? Do you really want to mess with Kim? Do you really want to mess with Chris? I mean, you may have good money, but is your money anything comparison to the Kai Jenners? Remember the Kai Jenners of Lou Taylor in their corner, honey? I don't think you want to go there, Jason Lee. I don't, I don't, I really don't think you want to go there, providing that it is in your intention to actually literally go there. Remember, we have seen Kim on TV 
threatening to burn people down legally, honey. And I don't think you want that to happen to you. No. Do you guys remember a couple months ago when it was said that there was some kind of falling out between Jason Lee and the Kai Jenners? And that was before Jason Lee started speaking out against, you know, the Kardashians and what they were doing to Jordan Woods, you know? Isn't it given, given the sense that there's actually something going on? There's something going on. And again, going back to that clip from Mr. Jason Lee, you can tell that there is definitely some tension there between Jason Lee and the Kardashians. But the thing is, it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. And I honestly believe that, you know, Chris may have filed this lawsuit and wanting to keep the document sealed because, you know, when court documents are sealed, it's not available to the public. You know, maybe she intended it for it to be sealed, but somehow, somehow it got out that, you know, Chris Jenner has taken the legal steps so far. The thing is, I'm wondering how this is going to play out. But in my, you know, based on what I know about the law and intellectual property, um, if Chris Jenner does go ahead and take legal actions against Jason Lee, I mean, I think that she would win. But Jason Lee knows something else that we don't know. So I believe that we're going to have to wait until he's ready to share it or to see how this entire lawsuit plays out. But like, I can't wait. I can't wait to see if someone who has, you know, pop culture connection is finally going to take down the Kai Jenners or will Jason Lee become a victim of the Kai Jenners? I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Jason Lee has the upper hand in this case? Or do you think that it is not his intellectual property? And as such, Chris Jenner and Kim definitely has claims over the tape. And as such, Jason Lee will lose the case. And if you've seen the clip, you would hear Jason Lee saying like, what does Chris Jenner think? I'm afraid of her, which is given the sense that he's saying, yes, I do have the tape, but you think I'm going to give it up? Do you think I'm scared of you? I want to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Now, while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.